Hello guys, I'm Sienna Preet and welcome back to our channel Being Safe with Preet. In today's video, we are going to discuss all about tedious return preparation and filing process. Trust me, it's not that difficult as it seems to those who haven't filed it yet. So we are going to discuss each and every step related to it right from downloading the TDS return utility. So let's get started. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Being CA with Preet for more such informative videos. So now I'll be sharing my screen to start with the process. So the first step to find a TDS return is to download the latest TDS utility available at the tin-nsdl website. So as you can see, this is the home page of tin-nsdl.com website. We need to go to services. Under services, you have to click at ETDS oblique ETCS option. Then you need to click on ETDS oblique ETCS RPU option. Now this page has been opened. Here you have to click on download RPU version 3.6 under RPU for quarterly returns. Once you click this, this utility will be downloaded in your system. And after extracting this utility, from that extracted folder, you need to open TDS underscore RPU 3.6.jar file. After downloading the TDS return preparation utility, we also need to download the CSI file that is Chalan status inquiry file. For that, we need to go to tin-nsdl.com website. On its home page, we need to click on services. Under services, you need to go to all tasks. You can see the options on the left hand side panel. There's an option Chalan status inquiry. You have to click on that. Once you click on it, now you have to click on Chalan status inquiry. After clicking on Chalan status inquiry, this page opens up. Here we need to click on TAN base view and put the TAN number in the given option. After filling in the TAN number, we need to select the period for which we need the Chalan details. So let's just select the period. After selecting the period, we just need to fill in the CAPTCHA code and click on View Chalan Details. Now you can see the details of all the Chalans which are paid during the first quarter. So this is the list of Chalan. You can verify the amount of Chalans by putting their amount against the Chalan number and then you can click on this text box. For example, if I put one amount here and then I have clicked on this text box. Likewise, we can fill in the details of all the chalans and verify the amount of all the chalans. After that, we need to click on confirm amount and we can then download the chalan file. The downloaded chalan file will look like this. So once we have downloaded the CSI file, we can move forward towards the preparation of TDS return. For that, we'll open the TDS return utility, which we have already downloaded. So now, once you have opened the utility, you have to select the form number, which in our case, uh, today we'll be filling 26Q. So I'm selecting 26Q over here. Now you have to select the type of statement which is to be prepared. If you are filing a regular TDS return, then you have to click on regular. If you are filing a correction file statement, then you have to click on correction. And then click on continue. Now you can see form 26Q has been opened. It has various tabs like form, Chalan details, Inexia 1 that is for deductive details and other services of TAN. In this first tab of form, you have to give details of the deductor. If you are a deductor, then you have to give your own details. If you are a professional and filing a TDS return for somebody else, then you have to give details of that deductor. 
like first you have to select the financial year which is 21-22 and then select the quarter which is quarter 1. Now you have to select the type of deductor. If the deductor is a company, then a company. If the deductor is an individual or HUF, then you, you can select the same. Or if it is a partnership firm, then select according. In our case, it will be company. Likewise, you need to fill in the various details of the deductor, like his name, address, email ID, phone number, and details of the person responsible for deduction of tax. We can just put in all the details over here and then let's move to the Chalan details. So now you can see they have filled in the details of this page. Now let's move to the Chalan tab. In this Chalan tab, you need to give the Chalan details like the amount of TDS deducted, the amount of interest paid against those tax deducted, PSR code, Chalan number, date on which the tax is deposited, and the minor head of the Chalan under which the TDS has been deposited. To fill in details on this page, you need to first add rows. Here you need to add as many as number of rows as equal to the number of Chalans paid by you for this quarter. If you have paid 12 chalan during the first quarter, then you need to add 12 rows over here. So let's enter 12 here and then click on OK. Now you can see it has given us 12 rows to fill all the chalan details which are paid by us during the first quarter. So now let's put in the detail over here. Like the first one I'm doing, I filled in the tedious amount. Next we need to put the interest amount which in this case is zero. Next, we need to put in the BSR code and the date of deductions. Next, we need to put the date of date on which the same has been deposited. Chalan serial number. And the section under which the same has been deposited. Likewise, we have to fill in the details for all the Chalans. So now you can see we have filled in all the Chalan details on this page. Now let's move to fill in the initial one details, that is deducted details. To fill in data on this page, you need to first insert rows by clicking on insert a row. Now to add rows, you need to write down number of deducted records against all Chalan numbers. For example, if you have paid TDS of two deductees against one single Chalan, then you have to add two deducted records against Chalan number one. Similarly, you have to fill in the number of deductive records against all Chalans. So let's do it right now. So now I have written all the deductive records against all Chalan numbers. Now let's click on OK. Now you can see all these rows are added over here. We just need to put in the details of all the deductees against their respective Chalan numbers. To fill in the details on this page, you need to first enter the section under which the payment has been made. So let's select 194. See? Next, you need to provide deductee reference number provided by the deductor. If it is available, then you can put it here. Then you need to enter the PAN of the deductee, name of the deductee. Next is date of payment or credit. Whenever the payment is made or the credit has been accounted for in your books, that date has to be entered over here. Next, you need to put the amount paid or credited and the TTS deducted on the same. So you can see uh, here comes the total tax deposited. Next is the date of deduction. Usually the date of deduction and date of pay payment or credit will be same. If it is different, you can enter accordingly. So here you have to enter the date of deduction. If there is any case of lower deduction, higher deduction or no deduction, you need to select the remarks over here. Next you need to put the deductee code. If the deductee is a company, then you have to select one. If it is other than company, then you have to select two. After that, you have to fill in the rate at which the tax has been deducted. Similarly, you have to put all the deductive details in this page. So I'll quickly fill in the details over here. So once when we have filled all the data, we just need to save the file by clicking on save button. 
now we'll just click on save now you can see that the file has been saved successfully so we'll click on ok before filing form 26q we need to ensure that there are no errors in the data filled by us for this we have to click on create file button which is given at the bottom of this page a dialog box has been opened which asks for the destination of the csi file and a path to save the error file so let's browse the csi file so this is our csi file we'll open this and give a destination for error file let's click on save now we need to click on validate button now you can see the file has been validated successfully at the given location so we'll click on ok and now we can proceed towards filing of form 26q at the income tax website so now we'll close this file and move towards filing of 26q so now as we have already generated the FPU file through that TDS utility, now we just need to file the same. To file the TDS return, we need to enter the income tax TDS credentials on the income tax website. So we are going to do that now. First, we'll log in. So to log in, I'm using the income tax TDS credentials, that is TAN number of your own or of your client, whoever is the deductor and then I'll enter the password and login. After logging in, you need to click on e-file, income tax forms and go to file income tax forms. Now we need to click on deduction of tax at source that is form TDS and click on file now. So now let's get started with the TDS return filing. Here you need to select the form which you are going to submit. I'm selecting 26Q, financial year 2122, quarter 1. It's a regular return. So now we need to upload the FUA file which we have generated earlier but in a zip folder. So here I have uploaded the TDS zip file and then we'll proceed to e verify return. Once you click on proceed to e verify, it asks you that whether you are sure to e verify and proceed. So I click on yes. It asks about the method. How do you want to e-verify that whether you want to generate the OTP on the registered number or you want to digitally sign the return or if you want to generate EVC through your bank account number or DMAT account number. It's just the same as you e-verify your income tax return. So to file the return, we just need to generate the OTP and then click on continue. Once you enter the OTP, you need to click on continue and your return will be filed. So guys, this is all about TDS return preparation and filing process. If you still have any query related to TDS return preparation or its filing process, you can email us at our email ID, which will come down here. Or you can even tell us in our comment section. We will surely reply to it very soon. We hope that this video helps you to file your TDS return or your client's TDS return without any difficulty. If you really like this video, do give it a like and share it with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Being CA with Preet for more such informative videos. Thank you.